Hey guys, what's up? It's Casey. If you don't know me, I'm an ER tech at a level one trauma center. And today I'm gonna to be showing you what is in my work bag. So currently I use this amazing tote bag. This is the Buff Bunny Game Changer tote bag. It is absolutely amazing. This is what I currently use for work. And then previously I was using the Buff Bunny Game Changer backpack. Um, if you can't tell, I absolutely love the brand Buff Bunny. Um, and the reason I will continue to use these bags is because each bag has a insulated meal compartment. So I really appreciate that. Um, working in the ER, I work 12 hour shifts and they can be absolutely crazy. And I don't always have time to go to the break room, which is where I store my meals. Um, so I love the fact that I can keep a few snacks in here to grab really quickly at the nurse's station. All right. <laughs> so now I'm using the tote bag as I said um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the backpack I just wanted to switch it up a little bit and go with the tote bag so let's go ahead and get started with what is in this bad boy um, it can hold so much um, like it's absolutely insane how much this bag can hold so first off um, working in the ER like I said gets absolutely crazy gotta stay hydrated so I always have a water bottle with me as well as um this seems really weird a koozie everyone at work always makes fun of me and asks me if I'm like drinking um a truly or a white claw or something and it's because I put my energy drinks in this because I drink my energy drinks kind of slow and I hate when they get warm so I always bring my koozie with me to keep my energy drinks cold um I bring sunglasses with me so I work night shift but typically um, when I drive into work, it's still sunny. And when I get off work in the morning, it's sunny. So gotta have my sunglasses with me. All right, I normally always have a headband with me. Um, this headband is by Hello Headbands. It's super cute and I love it because it keeps my hair back as well as I attach these little buttons to the headband and it's absolutely perfect. These buttons are magnetic and then I can loop my mask to them that way i don't have my mask pulling at my ears for eight hours and i get like cauliflower ears or something so would definitely recommend these little buttons and they work for any headband so you don't have to buy this brand of headband um but yeah you definitely if you work in healthcare, having that mask around your ears and tugging and pulling oh it annoys me so much so i would definitely recommend a setup like this and maybe if you're a guy or you don't want to wear a headband get one of those like little um extenders that go around the back of your neck being in the er sometimes it can be super crazy or it can be like pretty chill laid back um, I am a full-time college student, so I try to bring stuff with me just in case there is any downtime. So I normally bring a pencil case and my planner. Um, I would definitely recommend if you are a tech having pens to keep in your pocket at work and like cheap pens pens that if you give to someone you don't expect to get it back it's okay if you don't get it back don't be bringing your favorite pen to work and giving it to people and expect to get it back it's not gonna happen have learned this the hard way because i am emotionally attached to my pens these are my airpods pro they're just in this cute little case um, I do sometimes have some downtime so I could listen to a lecture or whatnot. Um, so I'll just pop in my AirPods if I have time to do that. Very recently, I have not had time to do that because the ER has been absolutely crazy. Um, this is something I think that anyone who works in the ER or the hospital in general should have. Um, these are called trauma shears. So what makes them different from typical scissors is they have this like blunt end so you can't puncture or like accidentally cut skin. Um, these are great, especially working in the ER. Um, people come in and they are very critical and so a lot of times we actually have to cut off their clothes. So that is mostly what I use these for. Um, it's just really handy to have in your pocket. Um, if you are going to be a tech or work in the ER, or the hospital, whatever, I would just recommend getting a cheap $10 pair. Um, this is what these guys are, 10 bucks. Super cheap, super affordable, they get the job done. Um, I do know there are some like really expensive trauma shears out there. I personally have been working in the ER for a year and these have done it for me. Only get the expensive ones if you've got some like money to blow. Otherwise, these $10 ones do the job. And then I just have like a little carabiner attached to them because some of my scrubs 
have little hooks so then I'll hook them on my scrubs otherwise um, these shears just hang out in my pocket during my shift the next thing I have in my bag is my badge I'm um, not gonna show you just because I don't want to have the name of the hospital or anything um, but I also want to show you I have these cute little badge buddies that I am absolutely addicted to um, this one says night shift and it's just really fun and it can be a cute conversation starter with a patient depending on which badge buddy I'm wearing and it just helps like show your personality a little bit if you are on the computer a lot for work so I don't chart too much being a tech but I know the nurses and docs chart a ton blue light glasses um, I just keep mine in my bag just in case um, especially working at night your eyes are already strained you're up at odd hours of the day um, these glasses help so much um, after having to look in the computer for a really long time I do especially notice a difference with my blue light glasses and then the other thing I bring to work with me is I bring my iPad and my laptop um, again I just bring these things in case I have any downtime at work like I said recently there has been no downtime so I haven't been able to do anything but I th figured it's a good idea to bring just in case like I said you never know like you could have like 30 minutes of chill and you know being a student for me those 30 minutes could be crucial just to get one or two tasks done so I normally always bring my laptop and my iPad just in case. Another super important thing I keep in my bag that all of us probably have to wear now is a mask um these are my favorite masks i get them on amazon they are satin masks and they are absolutely amazing because i already have acne prone skin and the mask me has been getting me you guys so these really help um preventing me from breakout or whatnot um so if your hospital lets you wear like cloth masks i would 10 out of 10 recommend um, a satin mask obviously if i'm around a covid patient or doing an aerosolizing procedure i would put on an n95 a cap or something like that but just when i have to wear like a simple mask um these satin masks have been saving my skin another thing i always have in my bag is a jacket um i normally get super cold no matter what the temperature is like i said it's been hot here in missouri but I have to have a jacket because to me the ER is always cold and throughout my shift I'm normally jacket on, jacket off. Um, I would recommend just getting like a plain black jacket. Uh, I do have some jackets like embroidered with my hospital logo but I would just recommend if you're new or just starting out a plain black jacket. It's great. It'll work for any unit. Always good as well as it won't stain, you know? Cause as you can see, I'm wearing these beautiful scrubs, but let me tell you, they've definitely got some stains on them and I've had to work a little hard to get them out. So you can never go wrong with black. All right, for all my greasy girls, guys, this is for you. So these are blotting sheets. 10 out of 10 recommend these. When it is like hour eight or nine of your shift and you are just starting to get greasy, you just take it out, pat on your forehead. I'm pretty sure we all know what blotting sheets are, but absolutely amazing, need these. Then next thing I have, floss. Oral hygiene is super important, especially now that we're wearing masks and we're having to smell our breath all the time. So I have some individual flosses. Um, these are by the brand Grin. I've actually worked with them in the past and I do have a discount code. I would recommend these flosses because fun fact, they are biodegradable. So I don't feel guilty about using them once and throwing them in the trash can. As well as, like I said, they're individually wrapped. So when they're in my floating around in my bag, they're not like touching everything and getting gross. And then I'm having to put them in my mouth. So they keep clean. So yeah, would recommend having some flosses with you, especially my grin flosses, use my code. Sound like such an influencer, use my code, but no, it'll save you a little bit of money because these are a little bit expensive being biodegradable. Chapstick, pretty self-explanatory. You need chapstick, your lips get chapped, you know. All right, then this guy is a brightening and neutralizing eye balm. I love this for when my eyes get tired. So you basically just pop it open and you swipe it under your eye a couple times um, and it just brightens your eyes as well as it kind of has like a cooling effect and it soothes your under eyes. So not only does it make your eyes like look brighter and not as tired, but like your eyes literally feel better. You know when your eyes just feel so heavy and uh, I will swipe this on and it just picks me up a little bit and it feels absolutely great it is a little pricey so i'm sure this is by tula i'm sure other brands make this 
just something to think about trying, especially if you work night shift. You, you know the struggle, that 5 a.m. struggle, oof, this comes in clutch. Then the next thing I have is a hair tie, self-explanatory, if I need to pull my hair back, if my one I have breaks, need a hair tie. All right, then this is actually my panic button. This is what was given to me by my hospital. So I normally um, just clip this to my waistband or my scrubs, wherever. And if I am ever in a sticky situation, which unfortunately has happened a couple times, um, you just press this and help will come. So now I thought I would give you guys a tour of my actual bag. Oh, I forgot one thing. See, this is why I love this bag so much. So as you can see, it's super sleek, super minimal in the front. Um, the branding is really small. It has this like super minimal um, phone pocket. And so I forgot, I clearly always bring my phone with me to work. And I normally keep my phone with me in my pocket. Um, just because being in the ER, sometimes you have to do like quick math or actually that's a lie. I never have to do quick math. The nurses have to do that. But now I normally just keep my phone in my pocket. My scrubs have enough um, pockets in them that I can keep pens, phone, all that good stuff. But yeah, so this game changer tote bag also has the meal compartment area, just like um, the backpack I was showing you guys. And it's absolutely great. It is huge. It's way bigger than um, the backpack, which I appreciate. Um, another thing I like about this bag is it does have a padded laptop sleeve. And I feel like this could definitely fit a 15 inch laptop if you had one. I have a 13 inch, but it fits my iPad and my laptop extremely comfortably. So something I did want to mention about this bag, I think that this is a great bag for any professional as well as student. Um, this bag can hold so much as well as it is so well built. Um, working at the hospital, obviously things are really yucky and this bag is made of this beautiful pebbled vegan leather. So everything just wipes off it so well. The construction is so sturdy. Like I load this thing up, like she can get a little heavy and I know that it is so well constructed that it can take it. Um, I also think this bag is really great for students. As I said, I'm a full-time college student and this is the bag I bring with me for campus. Um, something you don't think about when you are using a backpack versus a tote bag, obviously you're going to have all your weight on one shoulder, but with right now how hot it is, so I live in Missouri and it has literally been 100 degrees, it is so nice not to have something on my back as I'm walking around campus. No shame to anybody, but the amount of people who when you take off your backpack and your back is obviously dripping sweat because you have a heavy ass backpack against you. Um, and, mm, just not about it. And so it's really nice having this tote bag, you know, my back is able to breathe. Um, so just something to think about when you're thinking about buying like a tote bag versus a backpack. Um, I've obviously used a backpack for a long time. I love my Buff Bunny Game Changer backpack. It's just, I prefer this tote bag. Another thing I love about this tote bag that I think a lot of totes don't have is it zips closed. And that is so huge for me. Um, just because when I'm walking around, I don't need hands being able to grab things. Also, I love the super discreet phone pocket in the front. Um, because so let's say like I was somewhere really busy, I can turn it around and that way my phone is like up against me. Um, so I absolutely love this bag. Another reason why I think this bag is great for professionals, the branding is super minimal. Um, so it's not like loud and in your face and it just looks super classy. Like this is a well-built bag and I'm honestly surprised they don't charge more for it. Like if you can't tell, I'm obsessed with this bag. Um, it has a like a hard bottom. The only thing I wish this bag did have is I wish it had some feet. Um, other than that, this bag is a 10 out of 10. It is absolutely amazing. I would recommend this bag to anyone who's like starting nursing school, any profession that's not hospital related or a student who wants a tote bag instead of a backpack. This bag is absolutely amazing. 
All right, you guys, so that is what is in my bag. Um, let me know what you guys keep in your bag, if you think I am missing anything, any questions you might have. I'm gonna put a couple links to some videos I hope you guys will enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.